Texas. And with another hurricane churning in the Atlantic, viewers have contacted us concerned about how they would evacuate their loved ones with medical conditions if something like that were to happen here. News 5's Katarina Lukatic tells us how you can plan ahead. Theodore resident Taylor Bird's grandmother is bedridden, and seeing how many people were stranded in their flooded homes in Texas got her thinking. I just thought, you know, how would we get my grandmother out in a situation like that? It's hard to even put her in her wheelchair, so, you know, getting her out and to safety would be... Awful. Bird began wondering about a registry she could place her grandmother on so emergency officials would already know about her medical condition. That way if we didn't have any kind of um, way to contact for help, um, they would just know to come here. The Mobile County Emergency Management Agency actually does have a special needs registry online you could place loved ones on for emergency situations. You can log on to DisasterHelpMobile.org, click Begin Registration, and enter personal information, including specific medical needs. Right now, the site is not actively monitored, but could be accessed if needed. But after hearing from concerned residents like Taylor Bird, EMA officials say they will meet this week to discuss how the site could be better monitored and utilized regularly. It could save lives just to know where people are that wouldn't be able to get out. They have a condition that hinders them. Mobile County EMA officials say in addition to the registry, they have plans in place to make sure residents will be prepared if a hurricane were to make its way in our direction. EMA would open shelters across the county, including a special medical shelter for those with specific needs, with transportation provided for those who cannot transport themselves. EMA officials say it's best to be like Taylor Bird and start thinking about evacuation plans now. Katarina Lukatic, News 5.